Hey guys, this is Lauren Ekstrom, and I am so excited to share this very special class with you. It's called Double Trouble, and I co-teach it with my husband, Travis Elliott. You can jump over to his channel and give him a follow. He's got some amazing content. And then click the link below, which will take you to Interdimension TV. Interdimension TV is our online streaming platform for yoga, meditation, and personal growth. We have more classes like this there, as well as an entire 30-day program that we co-teach. Plus, when you join, you'll receive your first 10 days entirely for free. I hope you enjoy this practice. All right, welcome to Double Trouble. Double Trouble, you can see where most of the trouble is going to come from over there. Um, but let's get started in kneeling. And we'll take the hands and the arms, spread that out a little bit wide. And then on an inhale, go ahead and sweep the arms up overhead, interlace the fingers, turn the palms inside out, get a nice good stretch up. And then on the exhale, palms down, move the energy down as you breathe the breath out. And again, inhale like qigong, both arms come up, interlace the fingers, pause the breath at the top. And then exhale, move the energy, move the chi all the way down, down, down. One more time. Inhale, circle those arms up above, interlace, pause the breath. And then exhale, move the energy all the way down to center and to settle. Good. All fours position, so come into tabletop pose. And stack the shoulders right above the wrists, set the knees right beneath the hips, spread wide through the fingers, feel those palms rooting into the mats. And then go ahead and lift your left leg off the ground, parallel to the floor, extend the right arm forward all the way out in front of you for sunbird, the spinal balance. And then take a big inhale, pull those limbs out away from each other. And then exhale, elbow to knee, so curl it in. Good, inhale, reach it out, elongate, and then fold in on the out breath, round it in. One more time, inhale, reach it out, and then fold on the out breath. Inhale, pull long, and then set everything down, tabletop, and then lift the right leg off the ground parallel to the floor. Extend the left arm straight out in front of you, sunbird. Take a breath or two there to set, to find your balance. Be with your breath. Next inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, elbow to knee, curl in. Good, inhale, reach out. And then fold in as we wake up the core. One more time, inhale. Curl it in, exhale, a little squeeze at the end. And then draw out, inhale, create that length. Set it down, tabletop, soft landing. Step back to plank, upper push-up position. Take an inhale there in plank. And then exhale, lower down, slow with strength. Cobra on the inhale, chest up, shoulders back. And then down dog, exhale, tuck the toes, Lift the hips, drop the head. First down dog of this practice, feel free to move your body around in any way that feels good. Especially if you're practicing first thing in the morning, just start to loosen the body up, start to feel what you're feeling. Notice areas that might feel a little more tender and tight and areas that feel a little bit more open and strong, but just be, be attuned to what it is that you're feeling right now. Good. Next inhale, press back to those hips. Exhale, walk the feet forward all the way to the top of your yoga mat. Spread the feet out about the width of the hips. And then slide the hands all the way up to the shins right beneath the knees into a first flat back. Take about three or four breaths there as you create some healthy separation between the vertebra of the spine, reversing the effects of gravity on that torso. One more inhale, reach it out, 
and then fold on the exhale, let it go. Put a little bend into the knees, bring the hands all the way up to the waist. Press down into the feet on the inhale, rise and sweep both arms all the way up above. And then both hands to prayer, bringing it to center, closing the eyes for a few moments and sealing it in. And from here, with the attention inward, today coming into alignment with your true self, treating your yoga mat and your yoga practice almost like a dump site, as if you could shed anything that might be getting in the way, knowing that each out breath is a way to cleanse and release anything that is no longer serving you. So from this place, take a deep inhale through the nose, open the mouth, exhale, let it go. On an inhale, circle both arms up toward the sky, and exhale, fold forward, get empty of breath as you dive. Inhale, glance out halfway, long spine, plant the hands as you exhale, step back to plank pose, and lower slow chaturanga, same out breath. Up dog or cobra on an inhale as your shoulders roll. Down dog as you exhale, draw the tail up toward the sky as you press evenly through both hands. Now remembering that you're coming into alignment with yourself today. So if you need to stay here in downward facing dog or you need to take a rest, knowing that you can drop the knees and come to child's pose at any point in time. Otherwise, from here, on an inhale, come into upper push-up plank position. As you exhale, chaturanga, bend the elbows and hover. Press back to plank on an inhale. Press back to down dog as you exhale, as the trouble unfolds. Uh-oh. <laughs> Take an inhale, press the hips up and back. Bend the knees as you exhale, step or float, feet to meet hands. Inhale, long spine, long back. Exhale, forward fold and get empty again. Circle the arms up, inhale as you rise into alignment with yourself. Hands to your heart as you exhale. Circle the arms up, inhale, deep breath, grow long through the waist. Dive down, exhale, over straight legs. Inhale, halfway, gaze ahead. Plant the hands as you exhale, step to plank or float, and lower slow elbows in. Cobra or up dog, inhale, collarbones spread. Down dog as you exhale, hips lift. As you pause in down dog, hide your heels behind your second and third toes and continue to drive the floor away. On an inhale, float forward, plank pose, shoulders above wrists. Chaturanga one time on the out breath. Back to plank pose, inhale, back to down dog, exhale. Take an inhale, stretch the chest back like a rubber band. Bend the knees, exhale, step or float, feet to hands. Inhale, long spine and back. Exhale, fold and bow in. Inhale, circle and rise up into this new day. Hands to the heart, exhale, peeling the layers away. Inhale, sweep the arms up, full breath. Exhale, fold forward, dive in. Inhale, draw the heart away from the hips. Exhale, plant the hands, either step to plank or float, elbows hug in. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, down dog with a strong belly. It pulls you up and back as we set up just for one last round of these. Feeling that heat flowing and knowing that the heat in the body is that good alchemy, burning off the things that we no longer need. Last time, plank pose, inhale, chaturanga, hover with strength, back to plank, inhale, straight arms, back to down dog, exhale, clear the slate, inhale, drive the heart back, exhale, gaze forward, bend the knees, step, float, or fly, inhale, long spine, exhale, heavy head, inhale, rise to the sky, exhale, both hands back at your heart. 
Inhale, sweep the arms up, full body breath. Exhale as you bow and dive. Inhale, gaze ahead. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float, low or slow. Inhale, your choice, heart elevates high. Down dog, exhale as we say goodbye. Goodbye, Lauren. Hello, Travis. <laughs> All right, from down dog, shift forward to plank pose, upper push up, we'll throw a little balance into the mix. So from here, see if you can lift your left foot up a few inches off the ground, and then extend your right arm forward and out like you're shaking somebody's hands. Right arm lifts and left leg lifts, and you challenge that balance a little bit. You might fall, it's all good, just fall, breathe. Then take another inhale, pull it out, lift it up and then set it back down to your plank pose, and then switch sides. So lift your right foot up. When you're ready, take that left arm, extend it all the way up and out, keeping your breath steady, keeping that face soft. One last inhale there, set it down, plank pose. Good, take a good bye inhale there, and then down dog, exhale, pull the hips up and back, take a deep inhale through the nose, and out the mouth, let it go. Woo, big inhale, press back to those hips. And then exhale, walk or jump, both feet top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, extend and lengthen out. Forward fold, exhale, feet together, bend the knees, squat back, and then chair pose, reach both arms all the way up into the sky. As you sit back and you wake up those glutes, and you reach up through those arms and you soften down through your trap muscles so your neck is long. Beautiful, nice adjustment. Nice space between the inner arms and the size of the neck. Let's sit back a little bit deeper, find that edge. Take one last inhale, lift up a little more. And then forward fold, exhale, let it all go. Flat back, inhale, length and long. And then step or jump back, lower down, vinyasa flow. Cobra upward dog, inhale. And then down dog, exhale, good. Now float the right leg up on the inhale. And then bring the right knee to the belly on the exhale. Let's hold there for about five or so breaths. And you stack those shoulders right above the wrist and you close the gap between your right knee and your forehead. Take the back of your heart and allow that to dome up to the ceiling. Awesome, Rachel. Inhale, press back to that right leg for length. And then right foot forward, top of the mat, deep runner's lunge. Stay on the back left toes and then crescent pose. Take both arms and extend those all the way up to the sky above you. And then just get oriented, feel the ground below you and see if you can wrap the outer left hip forward. Draw your tailbone downward, nice long length and lower back. Arms reaching up, fingers spreading, gaze is steady. Take a final good by inhale, reach up, lean back, maybe even look up. And then exhale, vinyasa, all the way down, smooth with fluidity. Cobra, upward dog, inhale, and then down dog, exhale. Good, second side, left leg lifts up on the inhale. And then bring it to the belly on the exhale, five breaths there. And that moment where you start to feel the intensity, that's when the pose begins. It's all about getting to that place and then meeting that moment of challenge with steadiness and courage. Inhale, press the left leg back. And then exhale, left foot floats, top of the mat, runner's lunge. Stay on the back right toes and then crescent pose, take both arms. Reach those all the way up to the sky. Strong foundation in the lower body. Good, solid alignment throughout your whole entire system. Just be in present to what comes up. What do, you, what do you feel that arises? And then what do you feel that disappears, fades away? 
on the thoughts that come and go, the sensations that come and go, the pose that comes and goes, and the breath that also comes and goes. One last inhale, full expression, and then exhale, vinyasa, all the way down, strong and steady. Cobra, upward dog, inhale, and then down dog, exhale. Right, you guys, it's time to stir up that trouble pot. <laughs> We're gonna stir the pot of trouble up a little bit, move with a little bit more umph and a little bit more speed, and see what kind of good trouble we can awaken and stoke. Here we go, big inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, walk or jump, top of that mat. Flat back, inhale, spine out. Forward fold, exhale, bend the knee, squat low. Chair pose, inhale, lift up and reach. Forward fold, exhale, dive and release. Flat back, inhale, spine out. Step or jump back, lower down, vinyasa. Cobra, upward dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, belly to touch. Inhale, pull it back. Exhale, top of the mat. Crescent pose, inhale, rise up. And then vinyasa all the way down with that breath control. Cobra, up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, beautiful left leg up, inhale. To the belly, exhale, touch. Pull back, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale. Crescent pose, inhale, rise up. Vinyasa all the way down, same out breath. Cobra, upward dog, inhale. And then down dog, exhale, hold there. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Let it go, exhale. Good, and just feel your heart beating a little bit stronger. Feel your body warming up circulation of freshly oxygenated blood moving through the body and you know that the work that you're putting into your class right now it's going to pay off the whole rest of your day every day you get onto your yoga mat is a good 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 day all right cycle number two hands are strong hips are high inhale press back exhale walk or jump top of that mat Flat back, inhale, forward fold, exhale, squat. Chair pose, inhale, feel those glutes. Exhale, forward fold, smoothly. Flat back, inhale, heart out. Step or jump back, lower down with upper body strength. Cobra, upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale, inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, tap and touch. Pull back, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale. Crescent pose, inhale, come on up. Vinyasa all the way down with control. Inhale, breath leading the way. Exhale, down dog, left leg up, inhale. To the core, exhale, connect. Pull back, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale. Crescent pose, inhale, elevate. Exhale, vinyasa as we circulate. Cobra, blood through every tissue of the body. Exhale, down dog, hold there, breathe. Oh, good, so remember at any point you can drop the knees and take a break. At any point you can skip vinyasas. Do what you need to do to make this class work for you. Take as many breaks as you want. You could even press the pause button, go to the refrigerator, grab a cold one, throw that down, and then come back onto the mat. We'll never know. All right, cycle number three, last one of these, and then we'll move on. Inhale, press back. Exhale, walk or fly, top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, spine out. Forward fold, exhale, squat back. Chair pose, inhale, arms up. Forward fold, exhale, let it go. 
flat back inhale spine out step or jump back lower steady as can be cobra inhale deliciously exhale down dog inhale right leg up exhale belly i touch inhale draw back exhale top of the mat crescent pose inhale light and free exhale vinyasa lower down defying gravity cobra inhale kindly and compassionately exhale down dog inhale left leg up exhale belly you touch inhale drive back exhale top of the mat crescent pose inhale rise up vinyasa all the way down we're flowing now cobra inhale which means more trouble coming exhale down dog inhale right leg up exhale right foot top of the mat crescent pose inhale rise up chest on right thigh arms behind exhale crescent pose inhale up chest on thigh arms back good inhale crescent sweep chest on right knee two more of these good inhale rise with lightness exhale back with brilliance inhale come up lean on back exhale vinyasa all the way down towards your yoga mat cobra inhale hearts thundering strong exhale down dog left leg up inhale top of that mat exhale good inhale rise up dig into the left heel chest on thigh arms behind four more inhale with breath exhale with awareness inhale with consciousness exhale with mindfulness inhale and maybe a smile exhale scott's got that down inhale come up and reach chest on knee one more of these good inhale lift it up and shine exhale vinyasa all the way down equanimous mind cobra inhale i'm loving the flow exhale uh oh a little more trouble right leg up inhale right foot top of the mat exhale crescent pose inhale come up spread the arms out pause there and feel the ground below you i wish you guys could see lauren's face right now she's just salivating she wishes she could be doing this flow right now she's so jealous of what you get to do oh good now take the left arm and bring it underneath and around that right arm as you wrap and spiral those arms around each other. We call it eagle shoulder arms, which is just a really beautiful way to give the shoulders a stretch and to create a little space between the shoulder blades and the scapula. Keeping the arms as is, go ahead and start to lean forward on an inhale and then take flight on an exhale. Shift all the way up onto your front right foot, right leg still breathing deep as can be so there's never an inhale that goes by where you're not sucking that oxygen down deep as possible good never forget to breathe now spread your arms out wide like wings stay in your balance from here bend your right knee drop down a little low inhale straighten the right leg rise up exhale two more inhale bend the knee and then exhale, straighten the leg. One more time, inhale, lower, and then exhale up. Now take a good by inhale air play. Set the hands down onto the ground, but keep your left leg somewhere up in the air. Standing splits, walk your hands in towards your right foot. Start to close the gap between your chest and your right leg. And if you want less intensity, it's easy you would just put a block underneath your hands and then if you wanted more intensity that's easy you would just grab the back of your right foot with one or both of your hands you could pull your left leg a little longer you could lift it a little higher but the point is is that you have your hand on the control and you get to pick the degree of intensity that feels right for you now take one last inhale lift the left leg up and then drop the left toes softly to the back of the mat into a long, deep runner's lunge prayer twist. Good, now let's throw a little twist into the mix. So lean into that left hand, take that right arm and reach it all the way up to the sky. 
as you stack both arms right on top of each other. Push through the left hand, pull through the right arm, and feel that broadening and that brightening across your chest muscles and your back muscles. Nice, now open up the right chest and then extend the right arm forward all the way towards that front wall as you press back vigorously through your back left leg. So use your strength to create some wondrous length. Last reach, goodbye. Right arm up, inhale. Set the right hand down. Step the right foot back to play. Pause there and then lift your left foot up a few inches. Uh-oh. Stack your left toes on top of your right Achilles heel. Good, now stack feet push-ups. Inhale down, chaturanga. Why are you shaking your head, Danielle? <laughs> Exhale, push-up plank. You know you love this. Inhale, drop down. Exhale, rise up. Uno masana. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, rise up. Nacho masana. Inhale, lift the left foot up. Exhale, set it down. Plank. Take a good bye. Inhale. Chaturanga. Exhale. Cobra up dog. Inhale. And then down dog. Exhale. Lift the left leg up. Inhale. That's right. You got another side. Exhale, left foot, top of the mat, swing, crescent pose, inhale, rise up, spread those arms out wide as can be, come back to your breath, and any time you feel like you're being thrown out of balance or off kilter, take a deeper inhale, and that inhale will calibrate you back to that place of being strong and steady. Now, take that right arm, slip it underneath and around that left arm, just wrap and spiral as we continue a sweet, powerful double trouble flow. Start to lean forward on the inhale, shift up onto that front left foot, left leg on the exhale. And see if you can level your torso with your back right leg. See if you can turn your right little toe down towards the ground so your right hip is actually even with your left hip. Good, now spread those arms out wide like wings, stay in that balance. And then bend the left knee on the inhale, drop down. Straighten the left leg, press it up. Two more like that, inhale, lower. Exhale, rise up. Beautiful, last one, inhale. Come up, exhale, take a good bye, inhale. Both hands down to the ground. We almost lost the whole front row. <laughs> Woo Walk those hands in towards that left foot, left leg. Standing splits on the other side. Remember, you get to choose. If you need to back off, have the strength of self-restraint to make it less intense. This isn't about beating your body up. This is meant to be healing and sensuous and sweet. So honor what you're feeling. Take one more inhale, right foot up. And then drop the right toes all the way to the back of the mat, runner's lunge. Lock in through the inner thighs. Stability in the hips and the pelvis. And then lean into the right hand. Take the left arm all the way up to the sky. Coming into that beautiful twist on the other side. You're moving your body in all the ways that it was meant to be moved in. Because as they say, if you don't use it, you lose it. So you're moving the body, you're using the body the way that it's meant to be moved. So that becomes medicinal. Open up the left chest, extend the left arm forward all the way to the front, and just experiment with creating more space, having less compression in the body, more length, more lightness, more freedom. What a beautiful gift. Now, left arm up, inhale. Left hand down, exhale. Step the left foot back. Lift the right foot up a few inches. Stack the right toes on top of that left Achilles heel. And as Jim Rohn says, nobody can do your push-ups for you. You got to do the work. So let's do the work. Inhale down, chaturanga. Push up, exhale. Two more, inhale, drop. Exhale, rise. Inhale, last one. Exhale, those are done. Inhale, lift the right foot up. Set it down, out breath. 
Take a goodbye, inhale, plank, chaturanga, lower, cobra, inhale, chest up, exhale, down dog. You guys are brilliant. Woo! Woo. Those nachos Travis mentioned on the first side are looking pretty good right about now. Take a big inhale here and go ahead and walk your hands all the way to the back of your mat. Fold over your legs and separate your feet about the distance of your sitting bones, your hips. Pause there. Give your left knee a generous bend and press your right thigh towards straight. Let your head hang. Take a couple of breaths. And just starting to bring your breath back into that sama-like quality, evening things out after that strong flow. And then just switching sides, bend the right knee, send the left thigh towards straight, just letting the head be heavy. Nowhere to get to and nothing to achieve. Your yoga practice doesn't add anything to you and yet it's as if every bead of sweat is a letting go of anything that's been getting in the way of you seeing clearly or feeling the strength that is so innately there. Take one last inhale. Draw both legs toward your version of straight and crawl your way back out, downward facing dog, taking your time, pressing the tops of your thighs back as you go. As you spread wide through your fingers, on an inhale, lift your right leg up and off the mat. As you exhale, bring your right knee to your left elbow, twist and cross and hold there, keeping the right knee connected to the left elbow. See if you can draw the right shoulder down the back. On an inhale, press the right leg back up toward the sky. As you exhale, step your right foot through and seal your back left foot flat. On an inhale, come up to warrior one, circling the arms to the sky. And there's this sense now as you shift into warrior one after having flow, flowed through crescent pose, that there's inherently a little bit of a twist here. Wrap the left thigh forward, draw the right waist, the right hip back, press strong through the top of the left thigh. Take one more inhale, reach up, maybe gaze up, Bring the hands to the hips as you exhale. Draw your right leg towards straight, and then step your left foot up about a foot or a third of the way. Turn your left toes toward the front left corner of your mat, and with your hands on your hips, draw your right hip back, turn your left hip to face ahead. Circle your arms up toward the sky, take a deep breath in. Spread your arms out wide, turn your palms to face behind you, bend your elbows and bring either your fists together or come into reverse prayer. As you draw the hands behind the back, maybe press the inseam of the hands together or press the fists together and remind the shoulders that they live on your back. Take an inhale, lift your heart as if you were coming into camel pose. Exhale, fold out halfway, chest parallel to the earth. The whole time sucking the right hip back, turning the left hip down, and then lead with your heart like you were in warrior three, extending through the crown of your head. Breath still flowing, sweat still flowing. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, start to bend your right knee, shift forward and step up, third warrior. Turning your left pinky toe down, Seeing if you can keep your chest in your left thigh lifted the same height as you press out long, tractioning through the spine from head to back left foot. Give it one last little reach. And on an inhale, float and rise all the way to stand, left knee up and into your chest, hands still behind your back. Stack your left ankle above your right knee. Open your left knee out toward the left. Flex your left foot and on an inhale, bend your right knee and sit down deep. Hips still square, resisting the urge for the right hip to stick out. See if you can suck it in. On an inhale, circle both arms up toward the sky. Grow long through the sides of the waist. Take a breath. Draw your hands to your heart as you exhale. You could stay here. Take another inhale. 
left elbow to the arch of your right foot as you exhale we add a twist if your left elbow doesn't quite make it to the arch of your foot, it could come to the middle of your calf or even your shin. Then press up with your left hand, draw your left thigh back, give it one last little squeeze. On an inhale, back to center, both arms toward the sky, reach through the fingertips, pause on the out breath. Then on an inhale, straighten the right leg, kick the left leg straight out in front of you and flex the toes towards your face. Standing up tall, right leg may be talking to you, take a breath in, hands to your heart, left foot to the mat, exhale and pause, take a moment, let the sweat drip. Reach down, hug and squeeze your right knee into your chest as you just give that left leg a little bit of strength. And keeping what you have, you can stay right here. Bring your left hand to your left hip. Reach down with the first two fingers of your right hand and hook your right big toe. But if you're practicing at home, your knee can stay bent like Danielle's. It never has to go straight. But if it feels right, go ahead and straighten the right leg out in front of you to the amount that's available today with the importance of the spine staying tall. You can stay just like this. Take a deep breath in and then move your left hand outside of your right foot or outside of your right knee as you sweep your right op arm open to the back of the space. Maybe you start to turn your gaze and catch your thumb with your eyes as if to move those two points out wide away. Give it one last little squeeze. Turn to face forward, inhale, both arms straight up toward the sky, right leg floats, take a deep breath in, right foot meets the mat, both hands to the heart. As you exhale, pause once again. On an inhale, circle both arms up toward the sky, we clear the slate. Exhale, fold forward, dive down, press the breath out today. Inhale, gaze out halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, top of a push-up, pause and plank. Slip the inner edges of your feet together to connect and spin to the blade of your right foot as you circle your left arm up toward the sky, coming into Vashistasana. But at any point in time, you can modify placing the right knee down underneath the right hip for support. Lean back, open up, take a breath. Left arm up and over your left ear as you exhale. Beautiful, you guys. Inhale, left arm straight up toward the sky. Exhale, left hand down onto the mat. Take an inhale, plank pose. Optional chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, cobra or up dog. You can always skip it. Down dog, exhale, hips draw you back. Pause in down dog, take a deep breath in through your nose. Stick your tongue out. On an inhale, float your left leg up and off the mat. As you exhale, left knee to your right elbow, twist and tap and hold for a couple of breaths. See if you can get your shoulders right above your wrists and the whole time the shoulders stay square, chest leads. Inhale, left leg floats all the way up and back. Exhale, left foot steps between your hands, seal your back foot down flat. Rise up, warrior one, on and in breath, squaring your chest ahead. And the moment that your body clicks into place, that's your pose. There's nothing to over effort, there's nothing to force, and you just start to feel this organic ringing out, reclaiming your true self. Take an inhale in warrior one. As you exhale, bring your hands to your hips and straighten your front left leg. Step your right foot up about a third of the way and point your right toes toward the front right corner of your mat today. Turning your belly button and your heart straight ahead, Pause there as you press down through your feet. Inhale, circle both arms up toward the sky. Exhale, spread the arms out wide. Turn the palms to face behind and bend the elbows as you take maybe the fists behind the back or what we call prastanjali if the palms press. Then take an inhale, reach your sitting bones down and lift your heart to the sky as you roll your chest open wide. Exhale, fold out halfway over that strong, steady left leg. 
pressing down evenly through both feet. Feel your left thigh draw back. Turn your outer right hip down. And every out breath, it's that opportunity to release unnecessary tension, unnecessary strain. Give it one last inhale here. As you exhale, start to bend your left knee, start to shift your way forward, step up and take flight. Third warrior with your hands tied behind your back. In a moment like this, can you stay steady? Who do you wanna be in moments that are challenging when you feel confronted? Can you stay with your inner practice? On an inhale, float and rise, crown of the head to the sky, right knee to the chest, pause there. Stack your right ankle above your left knee, drop your right knee open to the right, take an inhale, and as you exhale, sit down, floating pigeon, hips back, sitting bones back, as if you were descending back into chair. Circle the arms up, inhale, lift up and out of the sides of the waist. Hands to the heart as you exhale, pause. Take a breath in, right elbow, arch of the right foot as you start to turn the heart toward the left. But remember, if you're practicing with us at home, a little bit of the pose is the pose. You could stay in the middle, you could stay with your hands at heart, wherever you are, you belong, you're in alignment with yourself. On an inhale, back to center, circle the arms to the sky. Pause as you exhale. Inhale, fly, right leg straight forward, left leg towards straight. Kick it out, take a goodbye breath in. Hands to the heart, right foot to the mat. Pause and take a moment as you reclaim your center. That you know how to respond in moments that build up to a climax. On an inhale, reach down, hug and squeeze the left knee into the chest. I'm giving that leg a break. Stand up tall so it's like Tadasana in the spine. We never sacrifice that. Right hand to your right hip. Take the first two fingers of your left hand and hook your left big toe. Remember, you could stay here with the knee bent. It's the same pose. Or on an inhale, start to straighten out that left leg, which just got a little warm and a little bit of space. As you stand up tall, pull the left shoulder back. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, right hand outside of your left knee or outside of your left foot. Open the left arm toward the back of the space and as if you were pulling those two points away from each other, left foot forward, left fingertips back, give it one last little squeeze. Inhale, turn to the center, circle both arms toward the sky, take a deep breath in. Left foot meets the right, hands at the heart as you exhale, as if you could seal in all of that clarity and all of that strength to take with you out into your day. On an inhale, circle both arms straight up toward the sky. Fold forward, exhale, press the breath out and dive. Inhale, reach the heart, the chest ahead. Plant the hands as you exhale, step back top of a push-up and pause there and plank again. Slip the inseams of the feet together to connect and spin to the blade of the left foot as you set up for Vashistasana, side plank pose on the left. But like Jennifer, always modify. You can put the left knee down for support. Take an inhale, lean back. Right arm up and over as you exhale, reach through the fingertips. Inhale, right arm straight back up to the sky. Exhale, right hand to the mat. Take a goodbye inhale, last time today. Chaturanga, exhale, hover. Inhale, cobra, or upward facing heart leads. Down dog, exhale, shift back. No more of these. Last downward facing dog. Inhale, press back through those hips, sink into that body. And then release the knees down onto the mat. Bring your knees forward about maybe halfway or three quarters of the mat. Bring the knees together, spread the feet out wider than the hips, and then sit back between your heels and your feet into hero's pose, virasana. You can always sit on top of a block if you like to modify. 
And if you want more, you can lean back onto your hands or your forearms or all the way down onto your back if you'd like to come into reclining hero pose. Up to you. And then just take about maybe 10 or so long, deep breaths. Just letting the heart rate come back down. Body temperature, cool. And just bringing your attention back to your breath. Take a few more breaths there. Take your time, slowly come all the way back up to seated. And then from here, we'll stand up on top of the knees, setting up for camel pose, Ustrasana. So go ahead and bring your hands to your lower back, either fingers down or fingers up, whatever feels right. And then draw the tailbone down, lengthen through the lower back, elevate up through your chest. And then start to lean back to your own degree as you pull the inner elbows in towards each other. And you spread across the chest. And just making sure that the chin slightly tucks down so your neck is long. And just filling up your lung space with breath, big breaths. You want more, you can bring the hands all the way back up to your heels or your feet. And then take one last inhale, camel pose. Exhale, come all the way back up, bring the hands onto the floor in front of you. And then crawl your knees forward all the way to the top of your yoga mat. Go ahead and cross the feet behind you and then come down onto your sit bones. Bring the soles of the feet together for butterfly pose. Let the knees open out wide, grab your feet. Take an inhale, lift up tall through your chest and then fold down to your own degree. Just giving your inner legs, inner thighs a nice stretch and release. Because we're still practicing yoga, if you notice your mind at any point drifting away from your yoga, notice that. If your mind slips into planning mode or ruminating mode, just let that go. Come back to this breath right here, right now. Slowly exit all the way back up. Bring your hands to your outer knees. Close the knees together. And then grab the backs of your thighs, so your hamstrings there. Lean back slightly and then float the shins and the feet off the ground. And then extend your arms out in front of you. And then extend your legs out in front of you to your own degree for boat pose, a little bit of core. Go ahead and lower halfway down on an inhale. And then rise up, exhale, boat one. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, all the way two. Inhale, half. Exhale, four, three. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up four. Inhale, down. Exhale, five. Inhale, down. Exhale, six. Inhale, down. Exhale, seven. Inhale, down. 
Exhale, eight, only 100 more. Inhale, down. Exhale, got to get to 108, nine. Inhale, down. Exhale, 10, hold there. Keep breathing. Bring the hands together, interlace all the fingers except those indexes. And then twist it all the way over towards the right side as you bring those side abdominals into the mix. Your face is soft, your eyes are steady. Take it all the way over to the other side, stroke it over to the left. Good, keep that face soft, that jaw relaxed, that mind calm. Now come back down the center line. Spread the hands out a little bit wide. Take one last inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower all the way down onto your back. That was the most fierce I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> who who would have known, right? All right, you guys, reach forward, grab your shin, squeeze your knees into your belly. I wanted to do a lot more core stuff, but uh, I'm just kind of getting the vibe that that wouldn't be a good idea. So let's bring the feet flat on the floor, about the width of the hips, slide the heels close in towards the hips, and then bridge pose, press down into the feet, lift up through the hips, tuck the shoulders underneath and in, get your hands set. Just breathe down to your belly. Stay in bridge, or if you'd like to come into wheel pose, bring the hands back by the ears, fingers forward. Once you get a good grip, press it to the hands. And then go ahead and arc the whole front of the body all the way up to the sky. Last few breaths there. Take one last final inhale. And then exhale, lower slowly all the way back down onto your yoga mat. Reach forward, grab your shin, squeeze your knees into your belly. And then wrap your right leg over top of your left leg. We'll set up for a reclining cow pose. Open your feet outward. Reach up, grab onto the outer edges of the feet. Spread the feet out wide and then draw your thighs down towards your belly. Just stretch those outer hips. And then from here, extend your right arm open to the right. Take your knees to the left into a wrap leg, spinal twist. Scott, I think you're going to have to do the opposite side. Because you're special. And then just allow that lower back to just get a nice, nice, sweet release. Ah. Oh. Both knees back up to middle, unwrap the legs, pull the thighs back in for a moment, like you're giving yourself a little compassionate hug. And then wrap the left leg over top the right, spread the feet out wide, reach up, grab them to those feet, spread the feet out wide, and then just pull your thighs down, sink into those hips. <sighs> and then we'll take the left arm, reach it out to the left, take the knees, let that come over to the right. 
any last tension in your lower back, just letting it go. all the way back up to middle unwrap the legs grab the shin squeeze the knees back into the belly and then finally take one last inhale curl the forehead up to the knees give everything one last squeeze and exhale shavasana release relax all the way down onto your back letting your arms and your legs open out Palms to the sky, closing the eyes, letting the breath still. So we take these last couple of minutes to slip into that deep state of rest and relaxation. Shavasana. Stretch your arms up and over your head and grow long from fingers to toes. Reach down, hug and squeeze your knees into your chest and rock your way up to a final easy seat. As you cross the legs, join the hands together at the heart and bow the chin. And so in some ways, this class is double trouble because now you know who you are. You remember what is really important to you. You've shed the things that no longer serve you, and from this place, you set the intention to walk out into the day and to be that person that you know you really are. Clarissa Estes says, there are very few things, right, wrong, good, bad, in this world. There are, however, things that are useful and things that are not useful. So taking with you off the mat and into your day, only those things that are truly useful to you as you reclaim yourself. Take a deep breath in through your nose, open your mouth. Namaste.